Welcome to Drum Addicts on Anderson's TV, and today we're talking about Mapex Satins and the person playing it, Mr. Charlie Kenny. So yeah, thank you for coming down, making, no worries, man. making the venture all the way from Kent. So. Yeah, not too far, not too far. Um, so these are only got released last month at the NAM show. So if you're watching this in like three years' time, this was in 2017. Um, this is a satin tour, and it's basically a Mapex satin, which we've heard about before, but with a wrap finish. So the particular finish we have here is the retro marine one, which is super cool. Um, they do various different sizes. We ordered a 24 in this color because we were like, if you're gonna have this vintage color, you need big sizes. So this is the cool new satin tour. And this is the first time you've played it, so you've- It's the first time i played it, yeah. You've I, played Mapex for what? Five or six years, you've got a retro, uh, got yeah, a I've, I've velvet tone and satins and- Yeah, yeah, I even had the old think? Orion stuff. I love it. I mean. Um, I've had a Saturn V, I've currently got a Saturn V in the Rosewood Exotic. But yeah, playing it, I mean, it's the same old Saturn. Uh, I love the new stuff, you know, the wraps with the silver hardware, the chrome hardware, really does it for me. I think it's a really nice touch. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And as always with Saturns, the bass drum and the low end, floor tone and bass drum, just killer. Yeah, that's kind of what, I think the draw of, of this series is that kind of low end growl that you get with the floor toms particularly and the bass drum, it's just punchy as anything. So but well rounded at the same time. So the difference for these ones, um, lots of people are asking for different size bass drums. These are shorter bass drums. So this is, happens to be a 22-16. If you get a 20, it's a 14. And um, if you get a 24. 24, it's also a 14. So yeah. this one's the 16. So just an all round great punchy sound. Yeah. Also got big floor toms as well. So if, if you're going super size, we've got like a 13, 16, 18, 24. So there's lots of... Uh, Lots of scope. So basically, it's a three piece configuration and you can order extra drums. So, if you want an eight and a 10 to make this like a three up, one down fusion mm. setup, or if you wanted bigger floor toms or a 14 or something, we can order in all the different sizes. So, Mapex sort of went for a three piece, obviously, to bring the price down, but also because it lets so many people are asking for satins go, oh, why isn't there a three piece version? So, they brought out a whole range with three piece so you can pick whichever Tom you want to add on to make your configuration. So. Yeah, they also do the matched 14 by six snare for every kit as well, which is a nice touch. Um, you know, the exo exotics, you can order the matching snare, but uh, these will be kept in stock. So you can have the full kit to your own desired spec, which is fantastic. And also we'll check out some snares later. There's lots to come. Yes, yes. How often have you used it? Where have you used your satin? Obviously, you're sort of like a house drummer in the studio as well as West End stuff yeah, as well, aren't you? So you, yeah, yeah, like touring theatre stuff is, is where, where I'm kind of touring at the moment, gigging a lot. But um, the satin for me originally was a gigging kit. I actually had an Orion, was the first Mapex kit I bought. Um, and then as I built up a relationship with Mapex themselves, I moved to a satin, which at the time would have been a satin four, I believe. Um, and now we've got five in the studio and I actually use an armory on the road. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I just think they're a great all-rounder and you know you can afford to have them abused somewhat and uh, change your kits over every now and then. But the satin is my favourite of all the kits. Probably even more so than my Velvetone, to be honest. Which obviously limited edition matches the snare. Yeah. They were great, great kits. Though. Great kits, yeah, amazing kits. But when you look at the price point of a satin compared to a Velvetone, there's not that much in it from a recording standpoint, I'd say. So they represent the best bang for buck, in my opinion, the Saturns. Um, also with these, uh, the new ones, the the wrap doesn't choke the drum. So some people that I was talking to that work for different brands were like, oh, they're just, 
they're totally going to choke the drum. They don't yeah. in any way. These still sing and still. Uh, yeah, I must admit it was something I was worried about coming in here that it might be an issue, but I really can't hear a difference. It's it's oh, quite it's, shocking to be honest. It's just other brands making rumours. That's all it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> If you had to buy, obviously you've seen the four colours, which we'll I have. put lovely on the screen for you. Yeah. Which one would you pick? I actually would pick this one, I think. Yeah, well, I saw the, the sample toms originally, and I did pick this one straight out the bat. Um, obviously, Mr. Blundell's just done some promo, uh, done four videos, and actually I thought the Black Strata Pearl looked amazing in that. Um, and that's the one that ships with the 2414 kick as well, so it's kind of like the Big Daddy rock kit of the lot. Really nice finish for that. The Vintage Sparkle as well, really, really nice old school vibe to it so I can't really pick at, at the moment but yeah originally it was this one for me this one just it's it's quite subtle isn't offensive so that's why yeah. I like it and it's very classic which I think the tour series has erred towards that side of, of classy finishes with the chromed hardware uh, it fits perfectly into that build isn't it it's, it's proper retro so lovely So what, what were the tracks that you were playing? So you come down to a couple of them. I think the one that sort of represents the kit the best is the one where you're playing the floor tom rolls and things. So Yes, yeah, so it's kind of like blending a rock beat with kind of a jungle beat on the toms through the chorus, which I thought, you know, given that it's a three piece, showed the kit off really well. And it's actually, a, it's a really good friend of mine. I've been working with him since I was about 18, if not younger, actually. Um, and he's based out of Croydon, and it's actually a rock duo called Mere Mortals. Uh, the first album should be coming out this spring. I know he's releasing an EP sometime really soon. And the song is called Fear. And, and yeah, it's just really nice, kind of slow rock groove, really sitting behind the click and based on the toms as well. So really cool song. And it sounds really chunky when you're... Yeah, I mean, I really beat. whacked them, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's definitely a rock song, but uh, yeah, it, I think it does the kit justice. So yeah, it should, should sound good. And when you're playing sort of at home, would you have a one up, one down set up or do you just yeah. set, set anything up? It What's... varies. I mean, when I had my Orion, that came as a three up, two down, but I actually always played it as a, as a three piece, strangely. I don't know why. Less to uh, carry. Yeah, and, and at the moment, um, just because I, I leave my recording rig, it's always set up. And, and if I get a song to do, I want to do it as quickly as possible. So I tend to have two floors, and that way if it only call, calls for one floor, Tom, it's, I can choose which one and just, just play that, and it's already there, ready to go. So by choice, it would be a one up, two down, down set up with maybe three crashes and an aux hat on the side, and it kind of just opens me up for a lot of styles. But I have nothing against playing a one up, one down, particularly live as well, the stuff I'm doing. It's, it's quite... Uh, it's very much based around the, the, the songwriting aspects so the drums take a bit of a back seat and kind of holding it all together with basic grooves but the one up one down would do me perfectly so and to be honest this might be on the buying list it's uh, it's definitely right up there on my my uh, Christmas wish list let's say so yeah 
So retire the armory and get this as your gig rig. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, theoretically, yeah, <laughs> definitely, yeah. So. What heads are we using today on this one? So these are stock heads. You've got Code Ambassador top head, Clear Ambassador uh, resonant head, and then on the bass drum, Clear for the back side, and then a logo head on the front. Logo head on the front. Nice. Yeah, it's nice actually. I, I, I don't usually use ambassadors on my toms. It's normally a coated emperor, but it sounded lovely. I quite nice like mixing it actually. So if you have coated ambassadors on the rack toms and then emperors on the floor. Oh really, so I've never get done a, that. You get a little bit more low so yeah, For kind of mixing that single to dual ply and yeah. getting a different vibe going on. They don't have to all be the same. I mean, I know yeah, people that, that literally split each size as a different yeah. different vibe. Yeah, it's always for me, just Emperor's all round, Ambassador Snare, P3 on the old, uh, on the bass drum. But yeah, it sounded great, really, really warm. To be honest, I wouldn't have known the difference. So. <laughs> well, th this is the thing, people get set in their ways. Drummers are very much like, oh, just use that. And that's that whole like Definitely, yeah. Evans Remo battle is because most people just are so yeah they, they know what works so why change it kind yeah. of way. yeah but um, with with the sort of the spec of these they've got to sort of make the low end bigger on the floor toms and bass drums you've got the sixty degree bearing yeah. edge so but it's yeah. the standard what's it then on the on the highs is it forty five forty five on the, on the on racks the rack. yeah. Nice. Uh, but it's the standard sort of construction of a satin, so maple and walnut, so. Lovely, yeah. yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, it really did. Thank you for coming in today and bashing our drums. These particular ones won't be for sale, new box ones will be, so don't worry about that. Yeah, um, thanks for having me, it's been great. They uh, it sounded great, so killer playing. Check out the Cheers, links man. below, we'll stick Charlie's links in so you can see the um, 1021 link. Yeah, check out, out the in. studio, I've got my own website and some online session stuff going on, so yeah. Check it out. Um, if you want to get more information on this, what colours we've got, things like that, what colours are available, um, they're all going to be landing with us soon, they're all on the website, so you can check them out. Um, this is Drum Addicts on Addison's TV and we'll see you next time.